of the mightiest beast to ever walk the earth. The King of the Jungle versus the Stealthy Lord of the Forest. Today we're diving into the ultimate showdown, the lion versus the tiger, who reigns supreme. Hello Pack, my name is Jeff and today we are going to see how two of the greatest apex predators on our planet stack up. And we'll answer the greatest question, who would win in this beast battle? So let's start off by breaking down the contenders. First we have the African Lion. Known as the King of the Jungle, this predator comes with brute strength and is a master of teamwork. One of the biggest differences between lions and tigers is their social life. Lions are the only big cats that live in social groups called prides, often with up to 30 members. This social structure allows them to share hunting duties, protect their young, and defend large territories. So if this fight were to happen in the wild, a single tiger would not be going up against one lion, but many. And the odds wouldn't be in the tiger's favor. And that is not to say that the tiger wouldn't be able to hold its own for a time. Bruh. They are solitary creatures. They roam vast territories on their own, only coming together to mate. How scandalous. That's right, each tiger must hunt and fend for itself. That's why the tiger was created to be the largest and most powerful cat in the world. Stealthy, solitary, and deadly in the shadows. But how does this big cat compare to its maimed brother in a one-on-one, -on -one, head-to-head tussle? Let's break it down. Let's start with the claws. These are no ordinary house cat claws. Both lions and tigers have massive retractable claws that can grow up to four inches long. A lion's claws are slightly curved, which gives it an edge when gripping onto prey during a takedown or to hold onto their enemies and keep them close. They use their claws like grappling hooks, digging deep into their target while delivering the final blow with their powerful jaws. For lions, claws are essential in their group hunting strategy, working together to wear down prey in a coordinated attack. Now tigers, they are a cat of a different stripe. Yeah, I said it. These cats rely on ambush tactics. Their claws act like razors slicing through thick vegetation or delivering a lightning fast strike. These talons allow them to climb, grapple, and rip apart prey in a single swift movement. But claws are nothing if they don't have a powerful arm to back them up. So let's talk about something awesome I like to call strike force. Both lions and tigers can throw a punch, literally, but there's a big difference in how each uses their sheer power. Lions have strong muscular forelimbs that pack a powerful punch. In fact, their strike can hit with up to 400 pounds of force, and that is way more than enough to break bone. This power is crucial during battles with other lions or defending the pride from intruders like, say, a striped feline. And on top of everything else, lions are built for endurance and long fights. Tigers, on the other hand, are even stronger. Believe it or not, their strike force can exceed 500 pounds of force. Tigers have longer and more muscular limbs designed for explosive solo hunts. One well-timed paw swipe can break bones or knock out prey, making their strike force a critical part of their ambush strategy. Now let's talk about teeth. <laughs> I'm not talking about these crooked things. Both of these big cats have a scary set of canines, and the way they use them is equally terrifying. A lion's teeth are made for gripping. Their canines are around three to four inches long, and they use them to latch onto their prey's throat suffocating them. Lions typically will go for the windpipe or mouth, crushing the airway. This is especially important during group hunts, as they need to kill prey quickly to feed the whole pride. Tigers, however, are more like precision killers. Their canines are slightly longer than a lion's, and they target the neck or spinal cord, often severing critical nerves to paralyze their prey instantly. 
Tigers have the advantage of stealth and speed, so their teeth are optimized for quick, clean kills. And behind all of these teeth is a force to be reckoned with. A bite force, that is. And it is here that we see a big difference. Lions have a respectable bite force of around 650 pounds per square inch. That's more than enough to puncture hide, muscle, and bone. However, tigers have a much stronger bite, with up to 1,050 PSI. That is almost double that of a lion. Tigers, with their stronger bite, can crush the skull or break the neck of their prey almost instantly. This allows them to take down larger animals, sometimes two to three times their size. The power of a tiger's jaw, combined with their ambush hunting style, makes them one of nature's most efficient killers. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. When it comes to strength, both the lion and the tiger are built for power. But who is stronger? Well, the lion can weigh up to 420 pounds and is built for short bursts of extreme force. It's strong enough to bring down prey like wildebeest and buffalo with the help of its pride. The tiger, however, is larger, often weighing up to 660 pounds. With its sheer size and solitary hunting style, a tiger is an absolute powerhouse, capable of overpowering prey that would challenge even a group of lions. In a fight, speed and agility can make all the difference. So who is faster and more nimble on their feet? Lions are sprinters, capable of reaching speeds of 50 miles per hour, but only for short distances. They rely on bursts of speed to ambush their prey. Wow, that is fast! The tiger is no slouch either, reaching speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. And although it is slightly slower than a lion, it excels in agility using its powerful legs and a flexible spine to leap and climb with precision. Tigers are fierce, powerful, and territorial. Whoa, I'm out of here. They aggressively defend their land from intruders, and when they strike, they strike hard. As lone hunters, like we've mentioned before, they rely on stealth and precision carefully planning each move before pouncing. Tigers are incredibly smart in their own right. They are solitary strategists, able to outthink and outmaneuver prey with ease. But when it comes to pure aggression, the lion still holds the crown. Male lions will fight to the death to defend their pride, attacking anything that threatens their rule. Their aggression is constant, whether it's protecting territory, asserting dominance, or leading the charge in a hunt. And in terms of intelligence, lions have the edge as well. Living in social groups forces them to think on a higher level, coordinating hunts, strategizing ambushes, and working as a team to take down much larger prey. This makes lions not only aggressive fighters, but also brilliant tacticians. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. What happens when these two titans clash? In the wild, lions and tigers rarely encounter each other. But let's imagine for just a second an epic fight to see who comes out on top. Beast battle. Fight force. The fight begins with the lion charging forward, roaring to intimidate the tiger. But the tiger, agile and quick, dodges to the side, swiping with its massive paw. The lion retaliates with its powerful bite, aiming for the tiger's neck. The lion uses the raw power and stamina to try to overpower the tiger, but the tiger's agility and sharp reflexes give it the edge. With one powerful leap, the tiger lands on top of the lion, delivering a crushing bite. This time, the tiger's size and strength proved too much for the lion. Okay, lion lovers, don't get mad. It was a close contest, but today the tiger reigns supreme. Flawless victory. 
That being said, in the wild, even the smallest advantage could tip the scales. And remember, in nature, such encounters are rare, but if they do occur, a tiger wouldn't just come across a single lion, but an entire pride of them. That's not to say a lion always needs help. There have been many single lions that are on record taking down tigers, all on their own in enclosures. And to be fair, vice versa. That being said, in reality, both of these apex predators are masters of their own domain, perfectly adapted to their own environments. So there you go. What did you guys think? Who would win in your version of the battle? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future animal showdowns. Try to avoid going into big cats cages at your local zoo because if you do, yeah, it's not going to end well for you. And remember, it's back or nothing.